Okay, uh, in this demonstration, we are going to move forward and we're going to get the light box working for our gallery. So if you go down to where it says, or go up, I should say, to where it says menu, and we jump down to the portfolio section. This is, by the way, the finished example. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, and this is the effect that we're looking for. So before, and we should be able to uh, scroll through these, um, and then it also shows you a caption down here and how many images are in the set. Before, uh, what we were able to do is click on it and it would just open a new window with an image and bleh, you know, not interesting. So this is going to be the effect that we're looking for. Okay, right now, uh, this is what we have on our other page, just these green placeholders. What I did is I went ahead and in my exercise folder, you're going to notice uh, before I told you to make a portfolio fol folder, we're going to keep the portfolio images separate from the normal images. This images folder is mainly going to be for like, you know, decorative graphics or infographics on the website, whereas the portfolio is where the work is going to go. So what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and populated it with more than just the green placeholder and the green placeholder thumbnail. Um, I went ahead and put some other stuff in, um, and they're not my pictures. Um, even though um, the aerial photograph um, on the opening viewport is mine, the rest of these are just things that I kind of yanked off of morgue file for the demonstration. So thank you to all the uh, the artists who. Uh, Gave, gave us the option to use these. Okay, so um, what I did was I created thumbnails that are 200 by 150 out of these larger pictures. And I went ahead and I also resized some of these. If you download stuff from morgue file or if you have your own photographs that are like raw files straight off of a really nice camera, then they're going to be way too big. I would suggest that maybe you limit them to a maximum size of maybe 1200 width or 1600 width if they're wide images. If they're tall images, um, I would limit them uh, probably to somewhere around 1000. Um, maybe maybe a little bit more than that at the most. Because the thing is, is that if these are too big, you're it's going to feel like your um, light box is broken because it's going to take forever and a day to load. So uh, what we're going to do now that we've got the images in the portfolio, and that's what you should, if not have already done, you should be doing before you really get too much further with this, is uh, open a new tab. And we're going to have to go and get the tools to use to create this this thing that's called the light box effect, right? Where you, you basically are able to click on one of these and instead of it, you know, just going to the picture, it will actually open up in a, you know, window overlay um, that you can close. All right, so let's go over to a new tab and I want you to type in light box two, okay? And it's gonna be the first hit if you type uh, light box space Two, and you'll see uh, it's a guy named uh, Lokesh Dakar. So if you click on that, you'll see um, that there's a, a link, you know, for downloading the the third-party uh, jQuery tool that he's created. Um, and you'll also see some examples down below, and he's also got some instructions on how to implement it. I'm just going to show you how to implement it, but if you kind of get stuck, you can always come back down here and take a peek at some of this information. Now, he's got two different sample sets. One is where you've got individual pictures, and you'll notice if I click on that, um, it'll open up, but I don't have any arrows to like go to the next one, right? So that's just if you have individual pictures. What we're going to be doing is like galleries. So if I click on this one, it'll give me arrows to then navigate to these other ones. Okay, so if I click on this, for instance, all right, you see I can, I don't get a back arrow because that is the first one of the set, but if you hover here, I can click and go to the next and the next. And the way, I'll show you how it, it can tell that um, that these are all the same part of you know the same gallery or different parts I guess of the same gallery um, and then I can close this so this is the one where it says four image set that's the one that we're going to be focusing on and uh, he does have his project on GitHub uh, which is 
like a portfolio thing for developers. We're just going to download it straight from here. So I'm going to click on download and uh, we're just going to stick it on the desktop. All right. And it's going to be called Lightbox 2 Master, uh, at least at the time that I'm doing this recording. Okay. So I'm going to download that. And then, uh, and the point also that I want to make is that a lot of times students will try to download it directly into here if I click this let's do this again they'll try to download it directly like into their um, exercise folder so if I look inside of this folder right this don't put it inside of your assignment folder all right don't put it there um, just put it like on the desktop put it in a separate place and the reason I'm going to suggest that is because it can get kind of confusing if you don't so I'm just going to click that and it and it is going to extract it for me uh, if I Let's do a new window uh, and on my desktop, you'll see, let me close some of this, you'll see that I've got the Lightbox 2 master zip file. And then whenever I extracted it, uh, it created a new folder for me that I can now access and use. Um, so I'm going to go inside of that. And by the way, if you're on Windows, you might need to right click and say extract all to extract your files. All right. So I'm going to go into the Lightbox. Uh, two and then side by side here's what I've got I've got the light box two downloadable stuff here on the right and then on the left I've got my assignment folder that I've put together okay <clears throat> and so one of the things that you'll notice if you were to go into examples let's open up examples and you open up this index file for instance if I open that it basically is the same set of examples that we saw on his his regular web page it's like these down here right but they're not styled or anything special right um, so if I were to uh, click on this let's see it shows you the example right if I want to right click this I want to show you something and, and do an inspection all right uh, one of the things that you'll see is uh, you can see that he's got these set up so that they're grabbing the pictures off the off the internet like he didn't actually make you download something that has a whole bunch of pictures inside of there all right it's actually grabbing these pictures off the internet and then you'll see here it's like a, you know four image sample set and if I open this up further something else that you'll notice too let me blow this up a little bit something else that you'll notice is that uh, the way that this is structured is you've got an a tag which is going to be the clickable link and it tells me where it's going to go, all right, and that's going to be the big version of the image. If I hover that, you see that it's 1,250 pixels by 1,250 pixels, right? Um, and then next to it, it says data-lightbox equals example set, all right? And this is the thing, just so you know, where it says data-lightbox, that is the thing that is going to be um, where you would, like, cr you know, give it a name for, like, let's say if you have photography portfolio, uh, versus like a web portfolio like here you could instead of example set you could put like photography or you could put web for a set of web images or you could put illustration like if you're doing you know an illustration gallery or something like that and then where it says data dash title and it says click uh, the right half of the image to move forward what that is is if I click on this you see it's this information that shows up right here and you don't have to have that if you don't want to. You can literally just select later whenever I show you how to implement it. You can select this entire thing that says data-title. You can get rid of that whole thing. You can get rid of the attribute and its value. Or you would change, you know, where it says click the right half of the image to move forward or whatever. You could change that so it says something about the picture. Okay. Now, the other thing, too, that you uh, would notice is that he's got... Uh, a link to a style sheet up here and we'll talk about this pathway in a minute and then the other thing that's making this whole thing work is that down below he's also linking to his lightbox source as well okay and uh, and his particular instance where it says uh, lightbox dash plus uh, dash jQuery um, this actually includes a version of the full jQuery library in it so there's some different options that you have if you don't want to use the full jQuery library since you've already loaded it. So now that we've kind of looked a little bit at how that works, let's uh, look at how we're going to implement it. Um, and so the, I guess the other thing too that I wanted to point out to you, let's go back real quickly and inspect this, is that you'll notice here, uh, like for the style sheet, um, it's in relationship to where that index file is located. So he's saying go up a directory. So 
if you look uh, at the way that the folder is set up, it's this index.html file is inside of examples. So he's saying go up a directory into the main directory, okay, All right, and then go find this dist folder. Let me scoot this over a little bit so you can see it, dist folder, and then find the CSS folder. That's what this is doing right here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this in a way that, like, your pathways are a little bit simpler, okay? But what's important is you're going to need some some files that you're going to have to implement in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my index file in um, a code editor. So let's do that. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to say open with and then we'll choose uh, Komodo edit uh, or whatever you happen to be using at the time. Uh, this so far has been done in, in Komodo Edit. So it opened a new index file for me uh, right here. And uh, if you want, since that's kind of confusing, like this is named index, this other one's named index, I'm going to close this so that uh, I can actually go back and rename the file. So instead of it just being called index, I'm going to actually, let's just click on it and we'll call it uh, index-lightbox. Yeah, lightbox example or something like that, lightbox ex, right? And then now if I open it, um, it won't be, I think, as confusing potentially. So go ahead and open it in whatever code editor you're using. And uh, what you can do is you're going to find some important pieces and you're going to copy them and you're going to paste them over into your index file. So the first thing I mentioned is this uh, style sheet reference. <clears throat> and so I'm going to highlight the style sheet and I'm going to copy this. All right, so I just copied it in my clipboard and I'm going to jump over to my index file and you'll notice that we've got our reset and then we've got our normal styles.css file. Right below styles.css, I'm going to add the style sheet reference there. Now, one of the problems though is that I don't have this pathway here. This doesn't exist for me. So what I'm going to do before we uh, move any further is I'm going to deal with this and let's figure out what he wants. He wants us to grab this thing called lightbox.min.css. So if we go over here to his folder, it's in the dist. Remember, if you were to look at his pathway, he says it's in the dist folder. For, it stands for distribution or distributables. You can go down into the CSS and then he's looking for lightboxmin.css. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this over. I could put it inside of a CSS folder if I want. So if you want to, you know, keep it consistent um, with kind of his tutorial, I wouldn't also put the distribution folder. I, but if you want to keep it separate from what you're doing, you could make a CSS folder like that and then just make a copy of this. So I'm going to copy this, uh, his version right here. I'm going to copy this over. If it'll let me select it. Let's try this. Okay, let's try this. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to copy it into that CSS folder. And so now it's there. Okay. Um, so if I jump back over here, now the pathway that I'm using is just that. Okay, because if you were to look now, you see that there is a CSS folder here with lightbox.min.css. And if I'm currently on this file index, if you look on the left here, all I'm doing is having to go find the CSS folder that's in the same directory as my um, index file. So you don't have to have dot dot or anything like that. You just have like this. Okay. And then the other thing too, before we move too much further, is we also need to grab his script file down here. So I'm going to copy that and then jump back over here. And you'll notice it's at the bottom of the page. Um, well, we've also got our JavaScript towards the end of the page. And I'm going to put mine, uh, I'm going to put it, I think, like after I run the, uh, the menu information, okay? I want to go ahead and have that whole thing run. So it'll be after my no script, and it would be before the smooth scrolling starts. You could put it there, or you could put it after the smooth scrolling, whichever one. I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Now, again, we have the same problem where the pathway isn't the same. But we do already have a JS folder, by the way. If you look over here, we've got our jQuery here. And uh, so you could do a couple of different things. So if we jump back and uh, let's go back into our JS folder here and you'll see he's got some, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's move that over. He's got some different kinds of lightbox uh, things that you can do. Now, um, 
you could just take, in his example, he's using the jQuery Plus, right? That actually has everything that it needs in it, including a full version of jQuery. But since we've already loaded jQuery, you don't really want to load the library again a second time. So if we just take this Lightbox min JS file and we copy that, so let's do that. Let's start to drag it and we'll, uh, here, let me grab it. And I'm going to drop a copy of that into my JS folder, if it'll let me. Doesn't seem like it's going to let me. I think it, yeah, there, it did. It let me. So now I've got my lightbox.min.js folder, or file inside of my JS folder. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of this pathway that starts with dot dot slash dist slash, and I just want to go straight into JS. And then instead of lightbox plus, I'm just going to use the lightbox.min.js file. Because I already have, if you look up here, remember I already loaded my uh, jQuery up here. Okay, and now I'm going to scroll up and find our portfolio section. And this is where we're going to have to add some functionality using the, you know, the data lightbox stuff. If you were to jump over real quickly, I'm going to jump over to the lightbox example. And let's just, I'm going to take a look at the force image set area okay and then you'll notice that we have all these different a tags and it has an image inside of it just to make it easier to see visually on the screen what's happening here i'm just going to isolate one of these because we just need to use one as an example so this whole first part right here is the beginning of the a tag and then this is this the ending of the a tag and everything in between is the clickable image all right so if i'm going to go ahead and just make it really clearly visible on the screen by just kind of tabbing that in. And so what we have here, all right, is the beginning of the A tag. And then we have inside of the A tag, because this is where the A tag ends, inside of the A tag is the thumbnail picture. Okay. And so one of the things that you might, you know, find really easy to do is kind of compare what is here versus what is in your file. And so if you want, you can split the screen and it might make it easier. So I'm going to go up here to view and then I'll say not split view, but I'm going to go move to split view. And then that'll put my uh, light box on the right and then my regular index file on the left. And so let's, let's do a little comparison. I'll scoot this over. In fact, let's, uh, let's uh, toggle this thing closed or let's just close it like, like that. So we have more room on the screen and then I'll move this over a little bit. All right, so that you can see it better. So if we compare, you know, like this entire anchor tag to say, uh, like this entire anchor tag, you can see kind of what is there and what's missing. So right now what we have is we have the A tag over on the left and you can see that it's looking for, you know, the larger version of the picture. That's what it's gonna open up when you, uh, or you, you're telling the A tag to have an href of, you know, portfolio placeholder. But then what it's going to show on the screen is going to be this this image file, okay? And the image file is going to be displaying the thumbnail version. That's why it's called thumb placeholder. And as I said, you should have already made those. And so the image that's the thumbnail is going to become the clickable thing on the screen. So if we were to kind of go over here and take a look to compare, there is something that's not there on our, our left side, which is this uh, class example image link. Let's just leave that alone for a second. Okay. But then we can look at the href. Well, this is, this is the, uh, oops, that was a mistake. This is the larger, um, uh, picture that it's going to go and open and it's on the web somewhere. And then what we're also missing on the left side on our regular index page is where it says data light box equals example set and then the data title. So if we were to just take that real quickly, I'm going to copy that. And then we come over here and it's part of the A tag. All right. It's not part of the image. It's part of the A tag. If I come over here and I paste that, we have to make sure that you put a space after uh, the image href, right? So there, make sure that you leave a space there. And then we've got data light box equals. And instead of an example set, I'm going to call this web. All right. So that we know that this is the web portfolio. And then uh, for the data title, for instance, I can go ahead and for right now, I can just say, um, you know, um, caption one, right? Because right now I don't know what my picture is going to be. So I could just say caption one right here. I've, it says placeholder, whatever. So it'd be caption one. And then you could do this 
basically where you copy this whole thing, uh, including the data light box and the data title. And that's if, of course, you want the data title, you could copy that. And then you could go ahead and, you know, start pasting that uh, at the ends of these other things that are going to be part of the web portfolio. All right. So you can do something like this, right? And then instead of caption one on all of them, you know, it'd be like caption two, three, four, whatever. And then if this were really something, you know, you know, the real thing, then you would actually go and put real captions there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And if I wanted to go ahead and save what I've got right here. Um, oh, and then of course, I didn't actually finish pasting this. So let's, let's do that. That's caption five. And then this last one is, uh, we'll do caption six. All right, and so if I were to save this now, and I wanted to do a quick test, you know, I can jump over here in my uh, file system and let's do a quick thing where I open this up. Okay, and so now I've got this opened and if I jump down here to my portfolio, all right, and I click on this first one, it does work. It goes into the light box now and you see it says caption one. Now, one of the things that's true is that I'm not getting the little arrows and I'm not getting the X to close it. So, but if I click here, you see that it actually still goes, you can see that it's actually going. If you look at the caption numbers, it's even though it's a placeholder and it's green, you know, it's going to these other things. So what's happening here is that we don't have the images. One thing we didn't transfer over are the little images, the little image icons of the arrows and the X's, all right? And so let's let's take a look at our file system real quickly and let's uh, make sure that we get that stuff moved over as well. So on the left here, let's just do this way, all right? On the left here is my actual uh, file system or my file folder for the assignment. And then let's do this. Okay, and then over here on the right is my Lightbox 2 master file that I had downloaded. Well, if you were to look inside of the dist folder again, all right, you'll see that there's also a folder here called images. And if you look inside of it, it has these little, you know, buttons like the next loading and the closing button and so forth, right? So what we can do is we can take, you, I would say just drag and, you know, copy over your images folder. But the thing is, we already have an images folder that's got a bunch of other stuff in it. So what we can do instead is we can take these files right here that's like previous, next, loading. Let's take that and we're going to make a copy. We're just going to copy these over and drop them into our normal images folder, okay, that's in our, our assignment file. And then let's do a test now. Let's go back and let's do a refresh on the page. And I'm going to say, nope, I don't want it translated. And then now let's open one. I'll open the second one. And it says caption two. And now you see when I hover here, it's going to take me to the next one. Or if I hover here, it's going to take me back. If I click there, it takes me to caption one, right? I can go forward. Oops, it looks like I forgot to change one of the names of the captions. There's caption four, five, and six, all right? And so if I wanted to just double check that and be consistent, uh, you see here caption three is still saying caption one. So I could change that. Let's save it. And if you wanted to just double check it, refresh this page. Okay, and then you can come back here, and now if I go to the third one, it actually says Caption 3. Okay, so that's working. Pretty cool. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the demo here, and in the next demonstration, um, uh, I'm going to show you, like, you can go ahead and do a little bit more stuff, uh, like you can add some comments, and we'll add another gallery and so on, okay?